introducing multiple technologies with the sole aim of increasing effectiveness and also improving the safety of officers as they're on patrol. So we've got a number of technologies introduced here. We've got broadband technology, which enables you to have multimedia applications. We've also introduced uh, intuitive controls. So for example, we've tied the key functions of an officer to a single button press or also to a voice command. And we've managed to do all this with the sole aim again of maximizing efficiency and also increasing the safety of the officers as they go on patrol. If we take a scenario of a, of a pursuit, for example, what typically happens in a pursuit situation is the, the light bar goes on, the sirens go on, and you may start a, a video recording of uh, the incident that's ongoing. So what we've done here is we've integrated uh, voice commands to control all these functions um, from a single button press. So if I go pursuit, the light, so the light bar gets activated, the video recording starts, and all this is done just from a, sim a simple voice command. One of the things we've also done is introduced uh, feedback with the specific intention of allowing officers to focus on the task at hand. For example, if I press uh, the light bar activation key, light bar. I get a voice uh, feedback telling me what I've done. Light bar. Similarly, if I do a control on the radio, um, like change the volume control, I'm also gonna get that volume recognition feedback. So that says volume eight. So all this is done specifically to enable the officer to focus on the task at hand. One of the new things we've introduced into the vehicle environment is allow video to be streamed not only over LTE, but also over TEDs. So as you can see here, what we have here is a scene of a, of a traffic accident where we're streaming a video, possibly from a CCTV camera, straight down to the vehicle over a TEDs carrier. We have the opportunity to select the cameras we want from a range of fixed cameras. And all this, again, it drastically and significantly increases the situation awareness of officers, even when you're outside the coverage area of an LTE uh, network. License plate recognition technology. This gives us the ability to scan up to 10,000 plates uh, in, a, in a work shift. And the power of this is such that even if you're traveling at 130 miles per hour, you can get up to 90% accuracy on the scan. It also works both in day and at night. So if you switch this to an infrared mode, you can also get a scan even at nighttime. So what you have here is something very, very um, easy to use and something that can drastically improve the effectiveness of officers especially given the fact that you have four uh, live ALBR cameras scanning different directions. So you get a full, almost a 360 degree scan uh, possibilities where you can really increase the effectiveness of your, your force.